until the basic human rights, despite political affiliation, is guaranteed to all, there will be no peace. Until we, elib until we emancipate <laughs> our mind from this mis or this ill doctrination that we have to side with one political party. Hence, what we, the people, want, we will not get. That mentality, that way of thinking, must be changed. We have to change that way of thinking. We have to recognize that whichever political party is in power, they got there because of we the people. <laughs> welcome back, brothers and sisters. Welcome back. Welcome back. You are listening to The Proven Truth. You are listening to The Proven Truth with your brother and host, Anthony Brown, Coming to you live from the studios of Radio Gumbo Creole in the beautiful territory of New Orleans, Louisiana. 102.3 FM, WHIV, proudly present. Not that one. <laughs> Not that one, family. Did you know that 102.3 FM, WHIP, LP, New Orleans has been broadcasting for the past five years we are able to honor independent community voices with your support from now until january 6 whiv merchandise is 25 percent off t-shirts hoodies fanny packs and more make for great gifts or treat yourself simply go to whivfm.org and click store, that's whivfm.org, that's all. We are not a radio station with a mission, we are a mission with a radio station. Look, family, you know, it's, it's important, or we encourage you guys to support this radio station however you can. You know, by becoming a monthly contributing member or by going onto our website, that's whivfm.org and purchasing, purchasing um, a few or any of the merchandise that's on that website, okay? Look, you guys know for a fact that this station honors independent voices your brother is on the station <laughs> look <laughs> i'm not welcome many places so before the break before the break was making the argument and um here is here is a uh, Somebody send me this. <laughs> Some, <laughs> look, I, I love you guys, but you guys are the best. Someone send me this via Facebook. Here is, and across the page with Cedric Richmond in big red letters, fraud. And below it reads, when it's time to get your vote, he will tell you he's one of us. And a New Orleans native, product of public school, son of an educator. And that's true, family. 
here it is, this Democrat, this black Democrat. No, no, no. Putting all ponder, putting all joke aside, this is a serious issue. This is a serious issue. We are talking about lives. People are actually losing their lives. People right here in New Orleans, Louisiana family are living on toxic waste. Toxic waste. You have females who cannot reproduce. We have females who cannot give birth because of that chemical component which is coming through the ground into their houses, into their homes, into their water system, into their food system. This is serious. This is not a matter that we should just push to the side or think lightly. This is serious, family. We have people right here in New Orleans, Louisiana. And again, it brings, it brings me back to the argument. They have been told, they have been telling us, vote Democrat. Vote Democrats into public office. Because Democrats are supposed to be so compassionate. Supposed to be so understanding. Understanding. Supposed to be looking out for the for the small guy. Democrats are supposed to be looking out for the small guy. So vote blindly vote Democrat. They have been telling us that. Latoya Cantrell for the past month leading up to this last election. Went around New Orleans, went around Louisiana, and I've been telling people, you must vote for John Bell Edwards. You must re-elect John Bell Edwards to the governor, to the mansion. Why? Not because John Edwards is a goddamn good guy. Not because John Bell Edwards has been, I've been looking out for the people of Louisiana. No! Because he's a Democrat. Listen to what your brother is saying. Their claim to fame is that if you are not a Democrat, you cannot or you will not address the issue of black people. You will not address the issue of poor people. You will not address the, the issue of minority people. That's their argument. So if we are to believe that, why is it when we put Democrats and black Democrats into public office like this clown Cedric Richmond? And when we now expect him to do or to work on our behalf, to go to those multi-million dollar companies and say, look, for years, you guys have been illegally dumping toxic waste here in Louisiana. And what is happening now, because you guys illegally dump toxic waste, people are dying. You need to make it right. You need to all meet with these people. First and foremost, relook 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 them to uh, relocate them to somewhere else take them off of that toxic waste right find them some other place to live then start to address their medical issue no no when we dig deep we recognize that the reason why he's not doing that and haven't been doing that because this criminal, this politician, this Democrat, this black, so-called black Democrat, have been receiving money. I've been receiving money from the enemy. I've been receiving money from these from these companies, from these multi-million dollars company, chemical companies. 
So why should we believe? Why should Anthony Brown go out there and blindly vote for a Democrat? When Democrats in office don't care about our agenda. When Democrats in office don't care about poor people. When Democrats in office sit by the wayside while people is dying here in Louisiana. Why the hell should we vote for them? Or continue to vote for Democrats? Huh? Look, family. Again, we overstand the concept that for a very long time or historically you have been told that Democrat is a party of compassion. That Democrat look out for poor people. Lies. That's not the case. And you, all you have to do is to check back from a historical standpoint and you will recognize that Democrats never care for black people. Never. It's Democrats who took away our 40 acres and the mule. We got that. We had 40 acres and a mule. We was given 40 acres. Where's my 40 acres? Where's my guardian 40 acres? I want it. Martin Luther King said, look, we're coming to Washington, D.C. for the check for our money. I want my 40 acres and a mule. If Democrats love we so much, if Democrats love black people so much, where's the guardian 40 acre and a mule? Republicans give us that. It was a Republican under a Republican president that black people, direct descendant of slaves, direct descendants, a matter of fact, let, let me rephrase that. Slaves, slaves got 40 acres and a mule from the Republican under the Republican Party from a Republican president. 40 acres and a mule so that we, because they recognize that without land, without land, you're free. If you cannot acquire land, if you cannot own land, you're free. You're a slave. And the Republicans recognize that. And they give us right after the Civil War. Abraham Lincoln. Give the blacks 40 acres. And don't only give them 40 acres. Give them a mule so that they can plow that 40 acres. What did the goddamn Democrat did? After they assassinate, after they assassinate Abraham Lincoln, what did Johnson do? Took it away from us. Democrat. When it was the Democratic Party who formed the blinking KKK, the Democratic Party who formed the KKK, the Democratic Party wear wood over the head. It was a Democratic Party who terrorize black people all throughout the South and all over North America. Democrats who did that. I was in a conversation a few weeks ago and a, a close associate of mine going to tell me, look, Anthony, well, well, that we are, we are, we are, this is, this is a, these are some new Republicans in office right now. Are these are this this is a new set of Republicans that's here right now. The truth about it, the family, I'm going to be honest. I didn't respond because I was like I was I, I was like, you know, when, when when you're dumb, you're dumb, you're dumb, you're dumb. Because from a historical point, from a historical point, look, that's one of the reasons why I love history, family. Don't hate me. I don't criticize me. I might have do whatever you want to do, but fact, you cannot change history. You, you, you cannot change history, man. You cannot. It was the Democratic Party who put wood over the face 
and terrorize black people. It wasn't the Republican Party who did that. That's why we were so offended when this, this so-called first black female, this first so-called black female, Latoya Cantrell, mayor of New Orleans, went out and apologized, publicly apologized to apologize to the Italians because 14, you see what I'm saying now, 14 Italian was lynched. Oh my God, I couldn't believe that. Here it is. We could put a number. We can put a number to the amount of Italian that was lynched. 14. A, a specific number. Now family, understand what your brother is saying. We are not speaking about, we are not speaking, we are not talking about this issue from a point of hatred or from a point, or, or, or we are not saying that any other race that succumbs to certain um, ill conduct ain't entitled for some type of reparation or some type of Justice, we are not saying that to each his own. But what we are saying to this so-called black female, what we are saying to this Democrat, that we Africans, we black people, our lynching prolong any other race you can think about. Our indignation prolong our suffering, prolong any other race. We cannot put a number on the amount of black people that have been lynched here in North America. We cannot do that. Because to do that would be, would to be, is, to, is to state falsely. We cannot give a number to the amount of black people that have been killed, murdered, raped, and lynched here in North America, family. We cannot do that. We don't have that figure. We don't. Which black leader or any other leader you know came out and apologized to the black masses for the you the 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 the, 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 the in, the condition and lynching that we receive and our ancestors are those to to endure w which black leader or which democrat tell, look maybe i'm naive man somebody need to tell me man maybe i'm naive on that and if i'm naive i got a god given right to be a, to be naive and I stand by my naivety. But I don't know. It's ridiculous. She's going to put out. This Democrat. This first so-called. Black Democrat. Mayor of New Orleans. Going to apologize to 14. For the death of 14 Italian. And here is the irony. Within that same time frame, now again, the Italians speak on their behalf and their issue. I'm speaking on behalf of the black issue. So if you don't understand that, to hell with you. Here is, during that same time frame, that those 14 Italians got lynched. How many blacks were lynched? Give me a figure, if you can. Many. And I guarantee you, it was more than double digits. It was more than double digits. Yeah? Here's this black female. Here's this black so-called 
doing her, showing her, showing her, show, show, show. look. I think she have an alcohol problem too. You know? I think this. I think this black female have a drinking problem. You know. She have her thing. She have this thing on Facebook where she should. She, she, you know, doing our sister dance. She call it. We are. We are sister Maya. You know, doing some type of. You know. Like she have rhythm in her soul. And have this buckler alcohol. <laughs> Let me tell you something, man. Let me, family, look. Look, let me tell you something. The argument that we supposed to blindly vote for black, no? Blindly vote Democrat. It's a ludicrous one. It's a ludicrous one. Here it is. In the city of New Orleans. We have, for the past two months, or over two months, the Hard Rock Hotel, while under construction, imploded on itself, right? Because... Well, the jury is still out on that and why it actually imploded on itself or why it actually um, collapsed on itself. Officially, the jury is still out on that. But based on early reports, and based on certain evidence that's out there. Shabby work. A failure from the jurisdiction, um, jurisdiction with authority, which is the city of New Orleans department, permit department, to conduct investigation. Now, we are saying that it's much, much deeper than that, family. It's much, much deeper than that. Because as it is right now, we have the FBI who is investigating the New Orleans City Council Department, right? To the point where the top dog, the head and shop of the department, was whiffed away by the FBI and many other people right now within that department having to take medical treatment to control the, the heart rate and the um the just the, 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 the body function because they don't know <laughs> at what point in time will the FBI come and whiff them away as well? To vote blindly for the Democratic Party is ludicrous.